If you're getting into detailing, and you want your car to have that mirror finish, then you probably heard of glazes and polishes. But what's the difference between these detailing products, and which do you need to make your car look its best? In this article, I'll be talking about the difference between a glaze and a polish, so you can decide which you should go for. So let's get started. What makes a car look shiny? To properly understand the difference between glazes and polishes, you need to know what actually makes a car's paint look shiny. The primer helps the base coat, which is the color of your car, bind to the car's surface. The clear coat then sits on the top. The purpose of the clear coat is to protect the base coat. It's roughly three times thicker than the base coat, and it protects it from fading and damage. Okay, so why does all this actually matter then? Well, it's important to understand that it's the clear coat that causes your car to either look shiny or dull. Scratches in this clear coat cause your car's paint to look flat and dull. Now I'm not talking about deep scratches that you can see all the time. I'm talking about the super fine swirls and marring that's caused by poor washing technique. You can see these type of scratches in direct sunlight, and they tend to look like spider webs or swirling. But why do they make your car look flat and dull? It's due to the way the light reflects. When the paint surface is completely flat and smooth, then the light will reflect evenly, causing the car to look shiny. When there are loads of small scratches, the light doesn't reflect in the same way, giving it a lackluster finish. What is a glaze? Glazes work by filling in the scratches in the clear coat to help create an even finish allowing the light to reflect properly giving your car a shinier appearance. Glazes aren't a permanent fix. Instead, they simply mask the scratches using fillers. They are strictly for enhancing your paint's finish and not protecting it, like a wax does. If you want to use a glaze on your car, then you can apply it either glaze by hand or a machine polisher with a soft pad after washing. You may also want to decontaminate the car after washing if necessary and drying the car. Finally, it can be buffed off using a microfiber towel. You'll want to apply a wax over the top of a glaze to make sure the finish is protected. It's usually not recommended to apply a sealant over the glaze because sealants need to properly bond to the paint. And they won't do this if a glaze is on the surface so the durability will suffer. What is polish? Polishes work completely differently to glazes. Instead of masking the scratches using fillers, polishes actually remove the scratches. The issue with polishing is that you only have so much clear coat on your car. You can't polish your paints finish indefinitely, or you'll be left with no clear coat. Glazing, on the other hand, can be done as often as you'd like because you're only filling in the surface scratches. My personal recommendation is to try a glaze first. If you're not happy with the finish and want a more permanent solution, then jump up to a polish. This is the safest thing to do because it stops you unnecessarily removing clear coat. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.